Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and today I want to talk about my project pan. So we have some exciting updates. I'm actually so excited to film this video. I have one, two, three, four, five empties. Five empties. So we will be replacing three empties though. But I will get into why as we get into it. Basically I put too much in in the beginning. So I don't have anything to replace it with. Um, because I had duplicates. That's the answer. Um, I don't have a really good organization as in terms of what I go through. So I'm just going to go through whatever I've written down and the order that it's in. My models prefer min mineral finishing veil. Uh, this has been very consistent. So it's only a low percentage leaves because I don't use this every time I do my makeup. But this used to be full. Obviously. But you know how some products are always half full when you buy them? This one was really quite full. So I have made a really good dent in this. I've had it for years. And this is a finishing powder, so I don't use it all the time. This was 78.42. Last update, now we're at 78.31. So I'm using losing a similar amount each month. So we're in month three now. And... It's been pretty consistent. I reckon it's going to take me the rest of the year to finish this just because it's not like a setting powder. I also have a setting powder that I, I use as well. This is just like a little extra one that I am trying to finish. They've since rebranded um, and this is just a really old product. So I do want to finish that. My Emco Beauty Brow Highlight. I have gotten in the habit of using regularly. I use it in the inner corner of my eyes, which you can see. Um, not today, but I do. Actually, I could do it. I'll show you. And I also do it here very lightly so it's not like a strong line and then I blend it down so it looks natural um, so this had a brow side but I finished it and then it has a brow highlight side which is so much bigger and more product than the brow side so I've kept it and kept this in I will show you my progress. It's very consistent throughout throughout the months. We're looking at like a millimeter each each month. Which in which case that's going to take me a, probably a whole year to finish. But that's okay. I actually really like it. I just like I only use it in a small amount. Um, but I really like the little accent that it gives me. So it's not like I'm rushing to finish it. I do enjoy using it. My Kind Collective Brow Gel, it's, you can't really tell when it's finished, but it was 12.56 grams last update, now we're at 12.38. So I'm definitely using it. I had forgotten to use it in the last update, but since then I have been using it. It's a really nice one. It's not crunchy, but it does hold. Um, I really like it. Sometimes it feels like there's no product, but it's just... All it is is that not too much product comes out on the little, it's like a little ball. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so when that's done, it'll just be done. I don't really know. Yeah, I can see, I can hear the liquid in there. Um, when it's done, it's done. That's the only really way of knowing. My Sigma Eye Base. Was, everything has had consistent use bar a couple of things. So this looks really disgusting, but it's well loved. So I use this as an eye base, but more as an eyeshadow. It's this beautiful kind of soft pink and I use it just ever so lightly. I don't use much. I usually just put it on the end of my finger and dab it on when I just want to like you no know, makeup makeup kind of like today but I haven't used it today. I'll tell you what I've used today. It's pretty similar. I've used about a millimeter of that. One that I just skipped, my apologies, is I finished my lip product. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint in Island Time. And I have finished it. I did try and dip in a little bit, but I just don't think I'm going to keep dipping. I have one million and one lip products. So I'm going to finish it there. It is got a little dip in it, but that is finished. And I loved using this with my lip liner. Like this was a little bit too yellow, but with a nice pinky cooler toned lip liner it really neutralized out and I really enjoyed it so that is done I'm very excited about that what I'm replacing it with right in front of me I'm replacing it with an hourglass lipstick now these are they're going to be discontinued at some point I feel like because they brought out a whole bunch of lipstick actual lipstick bullets 
Uh, and I don't even know if this shade exists anymore, but it's really pretty and I can see myself wearing it on a daily basis. This one is called No One Knows and it's a really nice peachy pink. So we're going to use that and I'm going to, yeah, that's doable. Maybe I'll... that might take a whole year. But if I can get into the habit of wearing this on a daily basis like I did this, we'll be good. So let me do this one. kind of want to put some on because it actually matches. Hmm, what am I already wearing? It's just a bit peachier. It's really pretty. My Charlotte Tilbury lip liner is doing very well. You can even see it's visually becoming a lot shorter. I love this. I use it pretty much every day uh, because I want to use it. Like I, I have so many lip liners, but this is a really perfect color for like, even with this, these will pair, pair perfectly together. So this is a really nice everyday shade for me. So I was like, just use it. And I also have like the Emco Beauty one. Like I, I'm not short of really nice pinky nude lip liners. So the, I'm doing really well here. I've got about just under a centimetre each month. So I feel positive I can get this finished by the end of the year. I'm very slow with lip liners. Um, I use them every day, but I don't use them. I don't really reapply with them and I don't use them on my whole lip. So that's just my method. NARS Star Woman, I didn't use this month. So that has no difference. And I really need to wear it. Actually, I can see. I can see where it is. It's a, like kind of in there. Oh, that's so much. I've used this so many times. It's like one of my favorite go-to liquid red lipsticks. And yet we've got a lot to go. So she's mini. Honestly, it's perfect. I, I love this. I, I kind of wish all liquid lips were like this because they, then I, they wouldn't go old on me. That is my favorite red lip, but I don't wear a red lip all the time for obvious reasons. She's bold. Tom Ford Bare Lipstick. I didn't use it either because it's too cool toned right now. This will be a good winter time for me. Like I went ham with this one. It's just washing me out a bit. I could mix it. That would work. Yeah. That's just neutralized a really peachy lipstick. I've got three lip products on right now. That's a way that I could wear it, but I will definitely see myself using this more in winter. And the reason I've got this in here, it's my only Tom Ford lipstick, but I've had this for longer than I want to disclose with you guys. <laughs> this was my wedding lipstick and I've been married for a long time. So just keep that in mind. So I want to use it up. It's a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. I absolutely love it. But I think I've got a little bit warmer toned over the years. I used to be coolish neutral. Now I'm more neutral warmish. You can kind of see on my arms. This is my natural skin color. There's no, nothing on me. Um, and so I feel like this washes me out a little bit more than I used to. It used to be perfect on me. But if I can wear it like this, or maybe with like a warmer lip liner, I need to figure out how I can make that work because I do love the actual formula. My Ultra 3 blush stick, I've been wearing this. I've been wearing it and I didn't have visual progress last update, but I do this month. It's essentially a millimeter. Do I even show you? It's one millimeter. Um, but I've lost the top. I haven't lost it. It's like deep, deep under the bed. That's really hard to reach. So I've just been lazy and I haven't gotten the lid. I really need to. But this used to be a dome. A proper dome so it's really starting to flatten out and I've really noticed a difference but it's also a very it's not super creamy it's a beautiful blendable product but it's not it is like the NARS multi stick it is a dupe for the NARS multi stick where it feels drier to the touch but it still blends and looks beautiful on the skin definitely getting there the whole stick itself is about one and a half centimeters so it's not like I have a lot it's not like it's this oh no it's probably about two centimeters and I've probably used about half a centimeter because of the dome is my guess it's definitely achievable and when a product is like this and it has hardly any product you feel like you're getting ripped off but you're not because it takes forever 
to make a dent in a product like this. So love this, perfect for every day. It really is a NARS orgasm. It's like a peachy pink with a gold fleck to it. It's, I'll actually show you. It's really stunning. If you're Australian, these go for under $10 at your local chemist. It's absolutely stunning and it really blends out beautifully. My bronzing stick, this is the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. I've been using this lots too, guys. So this is about the same. It's about a millimeter down. So this was a similar product where it was domed. And if I show you, I've really started making some visible difference. This is a very nice and creamy. This is a really, really creamy product. So we've got more product in this tiny little one than this, isn't it funny? But this is creamier, so you kind of go through it a little bit more. And you use more bronzer than you do blush on the surface of your face. So it's not gonna take me a long time, but I have been doing really well and I've been using it. It's just these kind of products, like you use a little bit each day, tiny, tiny little bit. My Aramis Concealer. Okay, so I have been trying to find ways to make this work. We have a weight on this. Last update it was 34. Point 3.2, now at 33.6, so under a gram, and that really shows, because I've been using a lot, the update before that was like 0.1 of a gram, like it was nothing. So I've been using this with, recently, been really, I, my mum complimented me on my skin on FaceTime, and I was like, okay, well this is maybe, and I mean, she's, not that she never compliments me, but she's never been like, whoa, your skin looks great. Um, it was this combo. It was the Maybelline Perfecta, which is like my primer, but I haven't been using it because it's been too humid. But as we go out of summer, I will definitely be using this. And then I've been using this in the center of my face. So this is kind of like my foundation. And then this is in the center of my face, just with any redness. Super natural, super gorgeous. My skin, I look like I'm a fresh baby, like who's just not exposed to the pollutions and environmental factors of the world. Like it just looks so, I don't want to use the word porcelain. I mean, I am porcelain, but like that kind of dull baby skin. Mm, she's plump, she's glowy and just healthy. And my skin looks so healthy when I wear this. So I've been using this a lot more. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan. I really thought I would have hit pan by now. You can even see where my fingers, I've tried to touch it to see if I can feel the bottom lightly. Can't feel the bottom. <laughs> so this is a lot deeper than I thought it was. But what I've been doing is, um, sometimes I'm just getting the brush directly in there and just doing a little bit in the center. Or I'm doing just under the eyes. I'm just kind of playing with it. I'm using it as a concealer and a foundation, but not all over the face. I really just center it in the center of my face. Center it. I really just put it in the center of my face and then blend out. So it's super sheer, super natural. Doesn't really look like I'm wearing makeup, but it makes my skin look incredible. So this is another old product that I've had for a while and I just want to use it up. I love it, but I need to use it up because it's clean beauty. They just don't last as long as your toxins, your chemicals. I have finished my MAC Fix Plus setting spray. It looks like there's a tiny bit in there, but I can't get it out. Like it, it doesn't come out getting like random dots on my face. So that's done, which I had predicted. And I used basically half of it in one month. So the last update, the line was here. So I've really gone in ham. I really wanted to finish it. I'm actually gonna replace it with this by Beauty Bay Oil Control Priming Mist. So this is technically a primer, but I've been using it as a primer and a setting spray because it has that mattifying factor. And I really, really like this product. It works. It's got a nice mister on it. I really like this. And this is a perfect kind of bottle to reuse. Sometimes I'll keep a bottle, if it's a really good one, to reuse for like alcohol, like your ISO, whatever it's called. Um, alcohol. Or just if I need a spray bottle, maybe for water, for hair, anything. These are really good because they're easy to just reuse. I've got a starting weight of 116.23 grams. So I can kind of here, it's pretty much at the top. I want to say it's like up here. 
but because it's all black I can't tell so that's why I'm weighing it I feel like I'll go through this because I can use it as a primer and a setting spray right then we're going on to my visuals so things that aren't weighed or measured like on the paper so I have my uh, Drunk Elephant De Bronzies. This is the old packaging, so I need to use it up because I think the new packaging has been out for a year or two. So this is old, but I use this pretty sparingly because it is quite pigmented. I usually mix it in with my Glowish Skin Tint. I don't really mix it into moisturizer because it's in my makeup table and yeah, that's just kind of how it works. I don't use it as a bronzer. I really pretty much only use it as a mix-in. Maybe if I have a foundation that's maybe a little bit too flat or maybe too cool toned or something where it just needs a little bit of life, I'll probably put this into it. Um, this is all a guess because there is air in here, so it's hard to kind of guess, but that's the line where I put it. So we've got some pretty even or consistent usage there. Um, but I also have the Enco Beauty drops, so if I finish this up, I've got another product to use anyway. So I really would like to finish this one up. Glowish Skin Tint, I'm almost finished, guys. This is one of my favorite products. So I brought this into my project pan because I knew it was something that I could finish. You can see my updates here. This is where we are now. This here is pretty much non-existent, and the air actually comes out of it. So if we look, there's really not a lot in there. So I've actually accommodated for this little bit up here, but it's really just down here. So I really do hope to have this finished by the next update. Um, but like I said, I mix these two. So I'm only using like under a pump of this and a half a pump of this um, because this looks really pretty. It's got similar aspects to this. It's just super glowy. So I don't need a lot of this. Uh, but I tend to wear this on a daily basis. I love it. I would repurchase it, repurchase it if I didn't have a thousand uh, foundations sitting saying, use me, use me. <laughs> um, but when I finish this, I will be a little bit sad, but also glad to have finished a product. And this got a lot of mixed reviews, but I personally ride for this. I ride for this. Just a little bit is like perfect. Okay, my Maybelline Perfector, as I've already spoken about, um, I like I said, I haven't really been using it because it's been so hot and humid here in Australia, um, but I've started using it again. So we can see a tiny update. I'm hoping my next update, I'll have some significant progress because I do love this product, but it's just, I have been steering away from glowy, but we're getting back into it and I'm excited because I tend to do pretty much just glowy in winter because I can afford to. I have an oily skin type, so I can afford to add a little bit of glow. But in summertime, it's just humid, and so my skin is already plump. She's glowing already from sweat and humidity. Winter time, I think this will be my gal. Or autumn, even, we're, going, we're in autumn now. So that's the progress there. My Kaleidos Contour Palette has no progress, and it's because I was focusing on my DIY palette and I'll sh you'll know why once I show you. But basically there's no visual progress. I haven't really used this, but I will be using this now because, well, hint, hint, I've done really well on my DIY palette. So um, here we have a powder, a contour and a bronzer. And I tend to only open this up when I'm wanting, I tend to only use this powder when I'm using these two. So now that I'll be using these two a little bit more, I'll probably use the powder a bit more. I just hate how tiny this is. I can really only do this for under my eyes. But next update, I hope to have a little bit more progress there. All right, my Laura Mercier corrector, I'm in the shade 1.5. This is the secret concealer for under eye. I believe this got discontinued. It might still be available online at Mecca in Australia, but that's why I got this, because it got pulled from the shelves. Um, and I work at Mecca, sorry, I work at Mecca. So I ended up getting this. I haven't used this much, I think I've used it once. So I've taken a picture, but I don't anticipate to see any difference in the comparison photos. My Revlon Color Stay Single Cream Eyeshadow. I have the shade Caramel, I've used this a couple of times. I actually find, this is caramel, but I do find it's very neutral, can lean a little cool toned on my eyes. It's very interesting, it's definitely drying out. So I did say in like my intro to this project pan, I'm gonna use it until I feel like I can't use it anymore. I don't think I'm gonna finish this product because it is drying out. 
Um, it's very pretty and I really like it for every day, but I'll be honest, I tend to just lean into my DIY palette because everything is there. Um, so this isn't so much that I don't want to use it. I just haven't reached for it because I've got like some single shadows there. I'm going to keep it in. I'm going to see how I go, but I feel like it's going to get to a point where I do throw it out because it's too dry. Um, but it is a pretty product. My Bare Minerals blush I've definitely used, but it's so funny. When I first brought this in, the um, you could see like the, the mesh plate at the bottom like imprinted. As I've been using it, I guess it's been mixing the product around and now you can't see it anymore. I feel like I've gone backwards, but I've definitely been using it. I even wore it yesterday as my blush bronzer. So I did like minimal makeup. I think I did my little collab that I told you about with the RMS. And I think I just brushed a little bit of this here and here. Just to give a bit of color to my face. It was super nice. I just love this product. It's such a joy to use when I just want super neutral blush. But I do feel that there is a difference. And that you can't see that mesh plate anymore. So I thought I was right near hitting pan. But I think I'm not. That's kind of why I put it in. Because I thought, oh. She's going to have some good usage out of this. Because you know how it's like really unmotivating to just bring in a product that you've never used before, you've used once or twice, and you're like, this is going to take me two years to finish. Whereas I thought this one, oh, you know, she's not far off. I don't know where I am now because I feel like I've gone backwards. But we'll see in the photos if you can see any difference. But it's kind of like a creamy powder, so the product does move around a little bit. My Stila eyeliner, there's no visual progress because it's one of those ones that you can roll up but you can't roll down. Definitely used it. It's the color More, which I think got discontinued, but it's the most beautiful green. We have my DIY palette. Now I've rearranged it because there are two missing from here. So let's go through those two first. Now I finished my highlighter. I just want you guys to give me a round of applause, please. This has taken me like three to four years to finish. This was in a palette of the Orgasm Blush, the Laguna Bronzer, which I finished like two years ago. And then this was an Orgasm Highlighter and it's stunning. They don't sell these individually. It's the most stunning highlighter. I loved it. That's why I was in the Project Pen because it's like a highlighter that I could feel like I would actually use, you know. Some of them are just a bit too much. But I use this on my eye. I use this one on my eyes as well. It was stunning on my eyes as an eyeshadow. So I finally finished this. I only finished this a few days ago. So it's so funny. Like something this tiny can just take three years to finish. But I did it. I finished it. And then this one, you can technically still see product. But when I tell you there's like probably two uses left, it is like paper thin. So I put a little bit on my eyes today just to kind of gauge where I'm at and it's it's barely there so I'm calling this one done like last update there was still a, it was a small area but it was still a dome so I knew there was time to go but this I'm telling you is two maybe three uses and I'm done and that could just be that's probably two uses on my face and maybe one on my eye honestly so I'm calling this done this was four to five years of usage this was from the ABH contour kit, you know, the six pan contour kit. This is a perfect contour shade for me in the shade Fawn. So I loved using it, but it's just the product that never ended. And I finally finished it, guys. I finally finished it, which is what I was saying. I can use dip into this now because I do like a bit of contour on my baby face. I need, I like a little bit of contour just here and a little bit here, maybe a little dusting on the nose. I use it very sparingly. Um, but these kind of shades are really nice on the eyes as well. So um, you can even see a difference here. This one's a lot warmer. This is very cool toned. So it'd be interesting. I've definitely used this a few times. I plan to be using this one a lot more now that this is finally gone. Because I thought I would have finished this before now, but I didn't want to be finished, you know? Okay, and then the rest, I have hit pan on one. I... Oh no, this just happened. Oh, okay. This just came apart because it's so thin, this little piece. But I hit pan and it's very, very loose and very thin. You can even kind of see on the walls that I've used a lot of product because usually it would be up if not higher on those walls. 
So this I anticipate to be maybe two or three more months. We're gonna see how we go, but I am finding that it's really starting to thin out um, and I've been using it a lot. So that's really exciting. And then the other one that's doing really well is my NARS Soft Velvet Pressed Powder in Snow. It's just really opening up. It's gonna start crumbling soon. I'm very close to the edge here. And I have actually noticed when I'm going in with a brush, sometimes it crumbles a little bit on the edges because it is so thin now. And I really try and focus on areas that it's a little bit higher, but the brush does what it wants to do. But I think by next update, I might have had to repress it because it is getting to that stage where it's getting a little bit crumbly every time I use it. Another product that I've been just so in love with, I say this every update, but this is the Shantakai Cheek Shade in Emotion. It's the perfect peach, pinky peach. I love it so much. It is such a high quality blush. You can just see how cute this color is. It actually looks like I'm wearing it. I'm actually wearing the Emco Beauty Soft Matte, which is that similar peachy pink. Absolute pleasure to use, and the actual embossing is starting to disappear. This is the highlight I have had in since the beginning, but I haven't used, because I thought I would have finished this way earlier. That's the thing with powder, it's very hard to estimate. So now I can really use this. This was a Depot from a Christmas collection with Too Faced a few years ago, but it's such a nice highlighter. That's why I kept it. Um, I will depot something if I think it's really worth depotting and this is stunning. I will show you. Really nice product, can use it on the eyes too. I like a highlighter that can be both on the face and the eyes. It's actually very similar to this Orgasm highlighter um, in terms of the way it looks on the face. It's got that beautiful soft golden aspect. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to use that one. And then lastly we have my eyeshadows. So today I am wearing a mixture of the Shantakai Lasting Eyeshade in Sesame. And then I put a little bit of this contour shade from ABH over the top. Very simple. Nothing schmancy fancy because I'm doing another video. Um, but you can really see, I've been using this one. We've got a dent in there. I love it. It's the perfect bone kind of color. It's absolutely stunning. I really recommend it if you are willing to pay the price for Shantakai. It's a big pan too. And then I also have coriander, which I don't use as much, but there's definitely a little dip in there just because it's a little bit more cool toned. And then lastly, before I talk about my fragrance, I have three depotted single shadows from the ColourPop Bye Bye Birdie palette. I remembered what it was from. So here we have a nice little shimmer that I'll probably use more of now that I finish that highlighter. I have this other beautiful shimmer which would actually pair really nice with that Shantakai color that I just showed you. And then this one I use the most. So these don't have names but they're from that palette if you're curious. Which is a really nice pinky neutral for me to use on an everyday basis so those are perfect for me and this is what my palette looks like now so i haven't replaced it there's actually a little bit more space now um, because i did have these two squished in there so now we have a little bit more space and hopefully i can finish this one sooner rather than later because i have a lot of depotted um bronzes that i have i have a hula i have a laguna um, NARS, I have a few to use. So I would really like to finish this one to replace it. But I love my DIY palette. I just, I put things in there that I know that I'll happily use every single day. Um, especially when I'm a, in a rush, I literally have a full face there. And then lastly, I have my fragrance. I finished my fragrance. This was Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Milk. I didn't love this on its own. So the thing with this is I like the fragrance on the dry down but I don't like it on the first spray. On the first spray, it's got a medicinal quality that makes me feel a bit irky, but the dry down is creamy and milky. It's like fresh milk. It's not like a deep vanilla. It's a very fresh vanilla. Um, so I actually wore this as a mix-in more than by itself. It's a beautiful mix-in because it does have that fresh vanilla milky scent. But what I'm gonna replace it in, I couldn't pick a single bottle so what I've decided to do is I got two of these from work I work in fragrance at Mecca so I do get a lot of fragrances and it's honestly so good I have no complaints I love it it's such a great perk of working at Mecca anyway so dead cool has some faulty batches and they weren't full right so I got two of these 
and I want to finish one of them. I've got one in my handbag, so I've always got a fragrance in my handbag. So it's a really nice tin. I love it. But I've got two. But I love Dead Cool fragrances. So Dead Cool is a genderless fragrance brand, if you don't know. They're really cool. They're from LA. And all their fragrances can be uh, worn upon each other. So they all complement one another. So in here we have Smiley Face Garden. Probably my least favorite. It's very... I love earthy, but it's a bit dirt earthy. Then we have Red Dakota, which you can see is like hardly any. In the other one, I've already used the Red Dakota because I don't know what happened. They had a bad had a bad run and they weren't fully filled. I love this one. This one's like fresh, zesty, lime, orange. Beautiful. Then we have Milk, which is their fragrance um, enhancer or layerer. So it doesn't really smell like anything until you put it why does that smell weird oh that's okay well that's all right you put it up by itself to develop when your skin is very skin like musky or you can wear it with other fragrances and then you have fragrance number two which is a little bit more woody from memory we have Taunt 01, which is my favorite. I bought this in the 15 mil. I took it traveling with me. It's my favorite. It's actually, it's funny. They've got a fragrance called Milk, but this to me is their most milky fragrance. It's very, when I say milky, it's like creamy, fresh. Oh, it's heaven. It's one of my most favorite fragrances ever. So that's Taunt. And then I also have Extra Milk, which is the milk turned into more of a fragrance. So, yeah, it's just a little bit stronger than this one. So I'm going to have all of those and I'm not going to say which one I'm going to have done. I would say Red Dakota will be gone first because it's just really easy to wear and fresh and there's only a little bit left. But I'm going to have that sitting with my project pan and we're going to finish them because I do really enjoy them. So that is everything for my project pan. I'm really happy with everything. We've got a few products out, a few products in, and by March, I'm pretty happy with my progress. So if you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.